px plus c so we have a function defined by the quadratic equation and there is a function that defines f of x plus y is equal to fx plus fy plus xy for all the numbers x and y where a, b, c are constants. If a plus b plus c is equal to 3, what is the value of f10? It's a typical question in which we have several information but connecting them and reaching on to what we have to find out looks like very difficult. It's a problem of function, so let me quickly help you how to start with this. The first thing is that you have to reach to f10 and you need to know that if you have to find f10 then you have to certainly use this thing which means you must have minimum f5 plus 5 to answer this thing. So to answer the question of f10 the first is the first problem is to reach the value of f5 because only then we will be able to arrive at f10. Now f5 and you don't even have f1 so let us just think what happens if we calculate f1. Now we have the expression fx equal to ax square plus bx plus c. So while substituting x equal to 1, the expression becomes a times 1 square plus b times 1 plus c times plus c. Which means if you simplify this further, you get that it is same as a plus b plus c. And that is the first breakthrough that we get in this question because we already have been given that a plus b plus c is equal to 3. Now the moment we have it, now we have a way forward because now we can quickly find out f2 as well. f2 can be written as f of 1 plus 1 and now we are going to use this function as the question defines f1 plus 1 can be written as f of 1 plus f of 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1. Now f1 value we already have that is 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 1 multiplied by 1 becomes 6 plus 1 that is 7. So now we have got f2. Using f2, now we would like to find out the value of f3. And f3 can be written as f of 1 plus 2, which can further be written as f1 plus f2 plus 1 multiplied by 2. The value of f1 is 3. The value of f2 is 7 plus 1 multiplied by 2. So we have 12. Using f3, we are going to find out f of 4 exactly in the similar way but for that now I'm writing f2 plus 2 which means f of 2 plus f of 2 plus 2 times 2 and that gives us f2 is 7 7 plus 7 plus 2 times 2 is equal to 14 plus 4 which is 18. Having got this thing now let's quickly move on to calculation of f5. f5 can be written as f of 2 plus 3 which means f of 2 plus f of 3 plus 2 times 3 f2 we have 7 f3 we have 12 plus 2 times 3 which is 6 so we have 25 now the moment we have f5 now we have a very clear way forward because to find out the value of f10 now we can simply write f of 5 plus 5 which can further be written as f5 plus f5 plus 5 times 5 f5 is 25 so 25 plus 25 plus 5 into 5 is also 25 total becomes 75 and that should be our answer which is option d so in this question of function, the important part is to get the breakthrough and start finding out several values and functions. In every sequence, it helps a lot because it gives you a way forward. Thank you so much for watching this video.